It's unusual to find an independent, locally controlled hospital of our size nowadays, especially in a community of our size. We're very lucky to have it here. The quality of care is excellent. Uh, my experience here as a patient was a really great one. The minute you walk through the door, the atmosphere is just welcoming. It's not just a job, I mean, this is my life. And I saw that this was, uh, I guess, what you might call a diamond in the rough. Back in 1907, 14 Salem physicians organized and created a corporation and they raised funds, the first organized fund drive of its type in the U.S., uh, to create a building fund. And they developed the hospital, built the hospital at, at its current location, and it opened in 1913. I think ultimately our mission has really never changed. Despite maybe changes in the face of the hospital or in the wording, the physicians founded this to serve and care for our community, and that's our mission today, to serve, to care, and to heal. But we recognize the need to improve our facilities. We knew that we provided high quality care, but we also have to have an environment that the patients can be comfortable in that's more healing for them. And so that was the first step, and that was expanding the tower. The patient tower improves patient care immensely. Prior to this, we had two patients in a room. Today, each patient has their own room. Uh, they have their own bathroom and shower. They have their own flat screen TV. It's so comfortable in the new rooms for my family. If they want to stay there, they want to eat there. The patients are, feel more comfortable in sharing information with us. They know that they're not being overheard by anybody else. They give us the information that we need to know, therefore we're able to treat them and care for them better and meet their needs. The new tower uh, gives our patients more comfort and gives our staff more efficiency in taking care of our patients, second to none in the area. So I think it keeps our patients comfortable and makes our job taking care of our patients easier. I think that's a win-win that's a for everybody. Patients have really appreciated what we've done with the tower. But we also recognize through the process that our oncology facility, uh, again, great care in the area. Our staff is absolutely wonderful, but the physical facilities were not up to par, and we really didn't have a place for patients to have the comfort and support of their family members there with them. Going through a cancer diagnosis and treatment is a really difficult process, and we wanted to make it more of a journey for the patients, and we're going to help them through that journey, so the physical environment was definitely important to us to be able to improve that for the patients. In the last 10 years, I've had lymphoma. My infusion takes six hours, so if a member of my family can't come, I have people here that I've made friends with that, you know, you can go to an area, a pod, that people are sitting around and you can talk and, and enjoy the day instead of, oh no, you know, gloom and gloom and gloom and no. I want to be upbeat and happy. We increased the size of the facility and created more space for the patients and their family members to be present. So we have private treatment bays for the patients, a community region. Um, they have an on-site lab, so it's a better total service for the patient. If you feel like being by yourself, you go into a pod, you close the curtains. If you want to be with other people, you go in the fireplace room where it's nice and warm and cozy and it's, it's much better. It's really nice because the patients actually get to choose how they want to receive their care instead of us dictating to them how they have to receive their care. We have definitely saw an increased need for outpatient services. Orthopedics we knew was growing. We recognized that we had really high quality of care in that area. Um, we went out and asked the Joint Commission to come in and give us their opinion and survey us. Went through a process to redesign how we care for the hip and knee replacement patients. Very pleased and proud of our staff, what they developed. It was really something unique in healthcare and really working with the patients and using shared decision making for the patients to um, make sure that they're making the right choice for them. And we did receive Joint Commission certification in the summer of 2016 for our hip and knee replacement programs. The issue that I had with my hip prior to surgery, probably close to a year and a half, uh, was just severe pain uh, walking with a, a limb. Uh, it was so painful that I couldn't sleep at night. I couldn't even lay still. There was so much pain. Uh, I was very nervous about the procedure and the surgery and uh, was uh, overwhelmed by uh, how well everything went. Uh, the hospital did a great job of uh, preparing me for the surgery. I came in a couple of weeks before, met with the dietitian, the anesthesiologist, and everybody that was going to be involved in, uh, in my day of the surgery. And it was efficient. They used their time well. 
Um, there wasn't any time wasted. It was very informative. Uh, I had a chance to ask questions and was given all the answers that I could have possibly wanted about the surgery before. And then the, uh, the day of the surgery, um, the same thing. My family was attended to. Um, it was efficient. I didn't wait anywhere. Uh, everybody treated me with uh, ultimate kindness and respect and uh, was just great overall experience. All the arthritic pain that I had prior to surgery is completely gone. I can sleep at night, so dramatic improvement. By expanding the physical space, again, it was to support patient care and to be able to provide those services. And relocating our outpatient procedures was very important for the next phase of our growth, and that was expanding our endoscopy area. We definitely saw an increase in volumes and a high demand from the community for uh, more access to endoscopy services. Endoscopy is used to screen for cancers and to also diagnose other illnesses and to treat certain diseases. And so with that increase in volume and with a very small environment, the original unit was not created to support that type of volume. So by expanding our endoscopy facility, doubling its size, having private patient areas, uh, it really made a significant difference for our patients. It's vital that the community supports the hospital. Um, we need that in order to grow and to provide the services for the community. Uh, without the support, we wouldn't be here. We are Salem Regional Medical Center and we stand alone. So their support is huge. In order to have expansions and add technology, we need community support. Community support is really in two areas. One would be donations to a uh, foundation and donations to various aspects of the hospital. And I think the community has always been very generous on that regard because it takes finances to open new centers and add new technology. And certainly by using the hospital when they need medical care is another way of demonstrating support. There's a lot of changes in health care and we don't know for sure what's going to happen but the one thing I can tell you with certainty is that we're going to continue to focus on excellence and care and service and that's going to be our striving goal. Patients will always remain the focus of everything that we do and regardless of what happens in the outside world that part won't change.